all right what's going on boys as you guys know it is a new season in the comments let me know how you guys are enjoying it so far and if you are having trouble getting in like if you're loading in the queue i have a video on that i just uploaded one not too long ago go check that out it's on the top of the screen right now but without further ado let's get into it before we start make sure you drop a like all that good stuff i'm helping you guys out so the least you could do is like drop a like sub turn on notice you know but yeah, let's get straight into it so as you can see this is performance mode as you know they took out bubble wrap builds which is what this is right here bubble wrap builds it was usually like it looked like kind of like a mobile mobile build you know but they took out the performance mode that looked like this but they just recently added it back in the new season so i'm gonna show you guys how to get this okay and it, it really depends on if you're on pc or console so i'm gonna start with pc players first because i'm a pc player myself and next i'm gonna do it on console to show you guys how to do it i'm not going to be on console but i'm going to show you how to get something like this on console so just stick around stay tuned and yeah okay so we're back in the lobby and the reason we're back in the lobby is because the settings we're going to do you have to load you have to load back into a lobby and load into an actual game for it to render and process so what i mean by that is when you go to settings right before we do anything make sure you want or your own performance mode not dx11 or dx12 or whatever they're called i don't know what they are because i don't need them i'm always on performance mode because it's the best frames best fps all of that okay so make sure you're on performance mode beta and after that the meshes like the builds that from the beginning of the video this is what they look like on low and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like on high so i'm going to switch it to high press apply and load back into the game and i'm going to show you guys how my builds look after that i right, was just loaded in now we're going to go to the world real quick press start you know and this right here is the OG, this right here is the OG performance mode, the bubble wrap builds, as you can see. I'm gonna change it up. This is literally what it looks like. Just like that. I know you guys all remember how the the builds looked. It looks crazy right now. I'm, I like it a lot. As you can see, it looks way different from the first time I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. And that's the difference between low meshes and high meshes, okay? So what I mean by that, if you don't remember, it says it right here, meshes high and low. You can't change it in game, so I can't really show a comparison, but it is different than low meshes, okay? So that's how you do it on that's how you do it on PC. Just make sure you're on performance mode and go to high meshes. That's all you gotta do. Alright? And well, now let me show you guys how to do it on console. Okay, so for all my console players out there, this is for all my console players. All right, so performance mode, basically what it is, it's like a mode. So when you play the game, you have less delay and you're more responsive when you play, basically. But technically, on console, I'm not sure if you can have builds to look exactly like this, how it is on PC. But I do have a way for it to look and feel just like PC performance mode, okay? So just follow me step by step, and th this should work. So first, I'm going to start off by showing you everything you can possibly do to make your game feel no delay at all, and just responsive and quick. So first, you want to go to your settings right here. Come down right here. All the way down, where is it at? Oh, well, since I'm on performance mode, it doesn't show motion blur, but motion blur shall always be off. I know when you're in your settings as a console player, you, it's all it's right there. Motion blur, you see it? Make sure that's off, okay? It's not, I don't, I can't see it because I have my performance mode on and once you have it on, you can't see motion blur. It's not an option, but do that. Come to your second tab. You wanna go all the way down and turn off all three of these replays. It, it's basically like some like a system running in the background recording everything when you don't really need it because like you know you have your playstation your playstation clips and all that your xbox clips you don't really need replays unless you're making like a cinematic video or whatnot like you know so you want to turn all of those off okay come right here and this is like a little tip you don't really have to do it because it's, it's only going to really work in creative for certain reasons i'm going to get into it but right here target info you want to turn this off and let me show you what that does target info it basically removes everything that pops up on your screen so let me show you how it is when it's off if you just in case you didn't 
recognize what changed. So my target info is on and it shows everything right here versus if I turn it off, it'll make everything disappear. This right here will make your game feel so smooth. But the only thing is when you're breaking someone's wall and replace it, you don't know whose wall it is. It could be his, it could be yours. It, it's no way of telling. This is why I, uh, I recommend only doing this in creative and not pubs because it's like an easy way to die. But it does reduce a lot of delay and it will help you out. Okay, so other than that, you want to go to your settings once again. Go all the way to the audio. Okay, and where you see subtitles, it says options. You want to click that and put everything to the lowest settings. Once again, it's settings that you don't need. It's just taking up your game space and making everything more delayed. Okay. It's just like having a bunch of stuff in your storage, right? And your, your PC or your console is going to run slow if you have little to no storage. So this is basically what it's doing is you're just having either turning it off completely or just put it into the lowest option if turning it off isn't available. Okay. So you just want to do that. And right here, what you want to do, this is for editing, editing purposes only to edit really fast, no delay, no nothing. You want to go to an unbound bond okay let's say right here it says unbound you want to click on it scroll all the way down to where you see switch mode slash edit and for me that unbound bond was was b so what i did was i clicked it and i went to switch mode slash edit and i clicked it so the unbound bond should look like this okay and that's just going to make you feel so much better and the the way you know you did it is when you Oh, hold on. I turned off my target info. Let me turn that back on so I can see what I'm doing to know that you did it correctly. When you click the button that said unbound. So my case, it was B, which was the unbound bond that I wasn't using. I put it to switch mode slash edit and it has a little circle around the edit button. It's not actually your edit button, but it shows it. That's how you know you did it. And that's how you know it worked. So that's everything you can do to reduce your input delay. Very easy. Besides like using a wired controller, make sure your controller is connected to both your controller and your, your PlayStation or whatever console you're using. That's going to reduce any type of delay that you have because wired connection is always better. Make sure you have a LAN cable. If you don't know what that is, it's like something that has direct connection. It connects from your internet router all the way to your system, whether it's your PC, console, or whatever you have. Do that and it's going to have a direct connection and your ping is going to be lower. All right, so you do that. It should have no delay. You should have really good ping. Your edit should be faster and all. And that's how you do it. And let's get on to the looks of the performance mode rather than the delay. So what you want to do is you want to go to your settings, right? And I did make a video on this, but I'm just going to remake it for the people who's new to my channel and all that. I'm not going to make you go looking for a video that's like really old. So this is what you want to do. You want to go to your brightness, right? Put your brightness on 85%. That's what you want to do. And this is not for the feel of the game. It's more for the looks to get that performance mode look. So you don't have to do this if you don't want, but it's going to help make your game look more like a PC, you know? It'll make it look like you like your own PC when you're really not. So you want to go to the second setting right here and put this on 1.35, okay? 1.35. And you want to put your color bond on protonote and your color bond strength to 10. And after you do that, you want to press apply. And then your game's going to look very different than the last. Okay. Your game's going to look completely different. And if you're on console, let me know how this looks. I'm not on the console, so I don't know how it looks. But trust me, this is what I did last time. It was like, I don't know, like three, four months ago, I made a video on how to do it. It worked for me. It looked good. Just let me know how it looks now. You know, there's updates on consoles. I'm not sure how it's going to look now. Let me know in the comments, though. And if it helped, make sure you hit the sub button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you turn on your notifications and use my code in the item shop. It's on the screen right now. Also, we have merch. Link is in the description as well.